WaveLab 9.5 has streamlined the restoration process by placing an all new set of restoration tools inside a dedicated suite called Restore Rig. This hyper efficient user interface echoes the feel and form of the Master Rig introduced in version 9. Like Master Rig, Restore Rig places all of the restoration tools at your fingertips in one easy to navigate window. The new large display window lets you see the original and modified signals overlaid. And the new metering section allows you to keep an eye on the overall gain impact of Restore Rig. The settings menu at the top allows you to customize the curves and the metering smoothness. And the channel settings icon allows you to configure Restore Rig for any application, including built-in support for mid-side processing. The first of the three restoration modules is the D-Clicker. D-Clicker contains three separate algorithms to help clean up audio named Crackle, Click, and Pop. Crackle is for very short, impulse-type noises, the kind associated with old vinyl. The Click algorithm is for middle-sized noises, and this algorithm is also available as an offline process. And Pop is for longer noises, like the pops often heard in a vocal recording. The associated meters gauge the quality of the noise removal process. So if the algorithm detects too much material being removed and possibly impacting the transient quality, the meter goes red. The denoiser module is for the removal of constant or wider bandwidth noises like tape hiss or mechanical interference. The dynamic level represents the level of noise that evolves over time and will be automatically removed, whereas the static level represents the level of noise which, as its name implies, remains static over time. In other words, white noise or buzz or hum. And the stationary noise can be learned by sampling a section of audio that contains only the noise signature you wish to remove, like this. The algorithm drop-down at the bottom allows you to switch between denoiser modes to better suit the program material you're working with. Smooth is a good choice for general work. Musical is an algorithm adapted for harmonic content. Rhythmic is optimized for percussive material. And strong is for cases where reducing noise level takes priority over the accuracy of the noise reduction. And finally, the debuzzer is designed to remove harmonic noise. Its default is to look for noise around the 50 to 60 hertz range, which is the typical value for electrical interference from ground loops. You can set the value of the fundamental with the frequency knob. The auto button allows debuzzer to detect the fundamental on its own. However, if you leave the automatic button engaged, debuzzer may hunt for new values over the life of the material. One great way to use auto mode is to turn it on to sample a selection of the material that has the buzz you want to eliminate. Let the auto mode assign the frequency value, then disable auto mode for the mastering pass, like this. The level knob allows you to determine how drastic the buzz removal will be, and the sensitivity control allows the amount of buzz reduction to float with the dynamic range of the program material. So with a higher sensitivity setting, the buzz reduction rides on the music to take advantage of audio masking at higher levels. This helps to minimize any impact on the musical content. And each module has a noise listening mode that lets you monitor the noise that's being eliminated, like this.